Hello, welcome to Sports This Morning, We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonakpan. Good morning and welcome. I'm Cecilia Omolbe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Tayo Salam. Okay, who's been working with us on this journey in the Nigeria Professional Football League? Enugu Rangers, the back on top of the table. And a lot of football fans are saying this is actually the year when this club can win the title. Okay, we'll just wait and see if they can do that. But after that, white washing. Well, I think they are the team to beat this season. Okay, now talking about tennis, Andy Murray well, finally was able to get the better of uh, Novak Djokovic on clay. And for Serena Williams, her first title in nine months. You would say Serena, definitely she is back, winning the fourth time in Rome Masters. Well, congratulations. What a birthday for Andy Murray. What a birthday present. And uh, for Serena, it's been a while, but she's finally... Um, I got a title now going into the French Open. Okay, also on the show, but this time in basketball, uh, the Toronto Raptors have reached their first conference finals after closing the series against the Miami Heat with a 116-89 win in Game 7. Up next for the Toronto Raptors is LeBron James and the Cavs. And uh, Cecilia, Austin, I mean, I don't think you saw that one coming. The game 7, yeah. very convincing, very dominant win. Uh, for the Toronto Raptors um, over the Miami Heat. It wasn't something I expected as well because I, I was thinking maybe uh, for Miami Heat, I think they just got tired because the score line it's huge. I mean, when you're having a team for the first time, they're reaching the instant conference yes. final. So it's a historic win for them, not just historic, the difference, the point difference that they got in that game shows that well. For Toronto Raptors, I think uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers need a whole lot of job to do if yeah. they are to actually progress because they actually went through seven games. The two games they played went into game seven. Yeah. And of course, for Heat, it was just for uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, they had a better chance because they had all the time to rest because their games ended just in I mean, game they had four. Sweeps, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So they had sweeps in their game. So in game four, they were already home and so drive through to the uh, final. So they've been resting and for Toronto Raptors, it's starting tomorrow, of course, talking yeah. about the Easter Conference final. So I think the players just need to be at their best to be able to combat the likes of LeBron James and Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, and so basically what you're saying is um, uh, the Cavs have the edge ready because, yes, they're, because they're rested. rested yes. Okay, yeah, that, that was, I understand, yeah, that, that might play a part that's in right. the series and um, of course uh, you can't forget that it's still King James and his, um, you know, and his um, um, Kevin Love and Kyrie Ivan, they've got a very good side. They're arguably the best side in the Eastern yeah. Conference. Yep. Yeah, so they will be going into the series as um, favorites. Yes, but then right. you can't rule out the, the, the Toronto Raptors as well too. I mean, that scoreline was just too one-sided. I mean, in a game seven, Cecilia, you expect the Miami to actually come out and leave blood and sweat and on the court. I mean, yeah, but it's, it's, they just, you know, they just imploded <laughs> and they imploded and they couldn't really uh, you know, fights uh, exactly, and so the Raptors are in the finals and they win that series 4-3. Uh, and they, just the confirmation again, uh, Cecilia, we talked about it already. Uh, Western Conference that's between the Thunder, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Golden State Warriors. That one starts today. While the one between the Warriors, um, between the Toronto Raptors and Cavaliers starts uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But then there was one man start the show um, very early this morning. Kyle Lowry right. had a great game mm -hmm. against um, the Miami Heat and we're just looking at those numbers again. Incredible. He's an all-star and they played like an all-star yep. yesterday. 42 minutes, 35 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists and 4 steals. Kyle Lowry. I remember when this guy was on the come up when he was playing for the Houston Rockets and I don't think anyone saw down the line that he will be an all-star all and he will be a yeah. leader <laughs> of a team that is in the uh, Eastern Conference Final. I think the good thing is on that day, he had to just take up the leadership role and yeah. see how he was able to get his team out. And of course, he did that. The likes of Dewey Wade didn't turn up on that yeah. day. 16 points Dewey yes. Wade had. And you're looking at a player like that. On the final game, you're expecting them to actually give you a fight. Yes. That fight wasn't there, of course. And hence, you have Kali having all the opportunity to actually nick that 35 points, seven ribbons, nine assists, and four steals. And was able to get his team to the Eastern Conference Final for the first time in their history. Ever, and yeah, let's not forget um, DeMar DeRozan as well. So he had a good game, uh, 28 points. And Austin, uh, Masai Ujiri, yeah. Uh, yeah. the general manager, that's a good one for him as well. Yeah, good definitely one. having an Nigerian athlete, <laughs> a team from Canada. I mean, a Canadian yeah. team, I'm, I'm just, I, I think this team, you know, 
no matter what happened, you know, against Cleveland Cavaliers, yes. I think they will have something to celebrate. Surely, yeah. Surely they will have something okay. to celebrate. So we'll continue to monitor all happening uh, in the NBA playoffs. Guys, let's go to Rome. Um, mm. So, so much has been said about this competition. And um, for Andy Murray, what a birthday gift you can give to us. I was a bit worried because Djokovic can spoil it if he wanted to. Yeah. But uh, we all deserve victory for Murray. But yes. let's begin with the ladies. Ladies first, Serena Williams, she went to Keys and said, look, you are a great player and you have what it takes to become the world's best female tennis player and i think she was saying what she knew yeah, yeah of course okay yeah where, where where we saw the matchup i mean madison keys get into the final because she was going to play serena williams i felt oh going to be one-sided but the, after checking the first set i mean she actually you know came out came out to play the game for serena williams to be able to beat her in one hour 24 minutes and the first set seven six it shows that she's really uh, the lady to watch it for she says she can take over from her as world number one but yeah. for now no she cannot but at least when she <laughs> retires she definitely can take over from her i think it was the eight or first errors that she made that was uh, what actually gave serena williams the victory because serena williams had to use her experience to win this game if not well mm. There'll be another upset for Serena Williams because remember right. the last time she actually won any title at all was in Cincinnati. That was in Incredible. August, so like nine months nine now. Months. And after I think she has played just wow. four tournaments. Mm. She doesn't really play so much, too many tournaments. The US Open, the Australian Open, Miami, and of course uh, another one. I think Miami and one other uh, tournament that she played just four, and this is the fifth one. Well, getting her first title in nine months. Well. Kudos to her anyway, but well, at least she, she won the game. <laughs> for someone like me, uh, I, I think this is good for women's tennis. Uh, that Serena Williams, uh, yeah, we know she can't be dominant, but it shows other persons are beginning to take up some space in female tennis. Madison Keys, Tayo, that's another name we need to underline. Yes. Let's see our progress from here. If Serena Williams can tell you, well done, pushing me one hour, 24 minutes, <laughs> stretching me all the way, taking me to the baseline, then I think you're a good player. And Keys has got the quality. She's yeah. got potential. Yes. But it's lovely to see Serena Williams win. She gives the sport all she has. And um, it tells. That's her lifting a trophy. Yes, Amazing. nine months, but again, all that female players are looking at Serena and say, look, she's not the only one here. Let her, <laughs> let's even look at what she's doing and see if we can emulate that. And I like what's happening. Oh, uh, yeah. Very, it's very, very uh, impressive uh, for Serena. It's on uh, the fourth title now for one. Uh, for Madison Keys, and when she splits with her former coach, uh, Lindsay Davenport, mm. I wonder where her career was going to go. Yeah. But, I mean, getting to the final of the Roman Masters now tells us she's still on the right Especially. track. So, yeah, good luck to her uh, in the future. And in the male and uh, the men's um, events, ah, uh, Austin, I mean, there are people that are actually out there saying Djokovic just gave yeah, but I know. Adam Murray a no, present. No, that wasn't no, the case, no, though. No, no, no. I think Murray played very well. Murray played well all yes. through this competition. Go back and see his run. You actually admire it. I mean, At this level, anything can happen with this is the, is the ATP. But Murray is 29 and has come out to, you know, at this stage, yeah, if your tennis starts getting better, just sustain it. You know, I like the fact that he won. And again, against Novak Djokovic. So Djokovic now will say, okay, uh, they've, I've lost this one. Murray is showing some good qualities. It will give us a very competitive I mean, French Open. I, I can imagine. Mm. I can't wait, Austin. And um, for Andy Murray, I mean, we saw him through all through the tournament it, it, it's been, it was very impressive unlike Djokovic that was dropping sets yeah. all over the place yeah. I remember Djokovic dropped a set 6-0 you know six games to love and uh, you wondered what was going on with him so uh, in the final I, I thought Andy Murray you know, was a better player and definitely deserved yeah. you know uh, to win this trophy uh, for the first time and going into the uh, Paris um, Going into the Roland Garros, yeah. it's going to be very competitive. Nadal is in good form. Good. He's won in Monte Carlo, yeah. Barcelona. Um, Djokovic is won in Madrid. That's right. Now, Andy Murray is won in Rome. Rome. So, you don't really know what's going to go at and the end I, of the day. I still believe Kaini Shikori has something yeah. to offer. <laughs> yeah, it makes it competitive. Yeah, I think so, because if you check the semi-final, mm -hmm. like Djokovic, yeah. Yeah. Djokovic I mean, uh -huh. yeah, so he could I have won that one. I mean, he ended late yeah. in the night. Yeah. I, I think Djokovic was actually tired. Very. He finished playing that game like past 11 in the night and all that and the next day you have to face Andy Murray who finished this game earlier in the day and of course just two sets and he must have rested well I don't know why I'm, I keep I keep using that but sometimes uh, it, it plays a major role you know when you're playing against a tougher opponent and you're playing on clay very difficult so you have to be at your very best and for Andy Murray uh, for Novak Joker remember there was a time he actually complained to the umpire and said that he wants the game to just stop because of the rain I think that was also getting into him and when you're playing on clay and it's raining slippery and all that mm. you just have to be careful not to get into so 
uh, Andy Murray play a better tennis, but Djokovic, I think, in French Open, watch it for him, definitely going to be back. Yeah, and um, just uh, to add to what Austin has said about Kain Ishikori, I mean, great upside. Mm. In that game against mm. Djokovic, he mm. had a chance, you know, to actually close out and win the game, but he didn't, right. he didn't take it. So that's one thing he still needs to work on in his game. He has to be a better finish. finisher mm. and, you know, take advantage when he has it. So, yeah, so I agree when you yeah. always mention Kain Ishikori. I know, when I watch <laughs> Kain Ishikori play, I, I, I just see... A good prospect to see mm. someone that is willing to put his name up there you know not just his name do it for his continent look at what lena has done for the yeah, ladies course, yeah. you know uh, kaini shikori i think he's a very decent player he's focused mm -hmm. um he's just lacking that extra edge That's you right. need to beat a champion like yeah. maybe, maybe we can you know, talk that to lena that... you know <laughs> yeah but, i mean i know they're from different mm. countries but mm. sometimes uh, both of them are from asia I mean, one is from china the other is from japan but sometimes when you have someone who is closer to you in that same circle where you have uh, tennis is not really as popular as table tennis. Mm. In table tennis, I find they're good. But when it comes to the court, the lawn tennis is difficult for it's these Asians. You have these it's guys in good form. I mean, so it's maybe a lot harder, can just Murray, it's a lot harder uh, you know, for Kanye Shikori than Lina. Maybe if like you Lina. give him a Marin uh, Chilich or you put yeah. him against uh, maybe Gao Simons. Ah, okay, you know. what happened at the US Open when he played against Vilas <laughs> Raonic? Yeah, he played against Marin Chilich and Chilich. he Chilich. lost. But exactly, he lost. Got so to he, the had final. A he had a chance to actually get that finishing thing you talked about and all that. He didn't get that. So if you can't get it with uh, a player ranked, I mean, you ranked on the same level, so you can actually take it notch higher to the likes of Novak Djokovic, uh, okay. Roger Federer, okay. and of course, uh, Andy Moy. With all these guys in mm. their very best form, I think it's going to be difficult for him, yeah. except he had to have that urge. That's right. Once he's able to get that, then I think, well, the story is just not yeah. just taking a player to yeah. five, uh, three hours, five hours, and three sets and all that, but sometimes just finish up and at least get a grand slam to win. He needs to do more. That's what he means because yeah. when this guy's playing good tennis, you need to play better tennis exactly. so we can come talk about you. So yeah. that's the story. Well done to Andy Murray for winning um, the Rome Masters, and of course, uh, it's appropriate to say happy birthday, Murray's 29, and then <laughs> gave himself a birthday gift by beating <laughs> Novak Djokovic.